When traveling, a small camera setup is often necessary to get shots quickly and to avoid causing too much attention. Our favorite setup for travel filmmaking is this small camera and this medium-sized stabilizer to capture smooth tracking shots. The point-and-shoot camera is the Panasonic LX10, also known as LX15, which is very similar to the LX100 and can shoot 50 frames per second in Full HD and up to 30 frames per second in Ultra HD. The main reason to choose the LX10 over the older LX100 is the tiltable screen as well as the aperture of f1.4 instead of f1.7. Although the aperture is not fixed, it starts at f1.4 at the wide end and when zooming in goes up to f2.8, which is still pretty great for such a compact camera and also good when filming at night or in dark surroundings. The 3 axis camera gimbal is the Seon Crane M, which is pretty small compared to most gimbals on the market right now. We've used it for over a year now, dropped it a couple of times, filmed with it in humid and dry surroundings and never had any issues. The battery also lasts for a whole day, so it's a great fit for a small camera like the LX10. When filming in inverted mode, which is something I end up doing very often, the tiltable screen is a lifesaver. Because if the screen would be fixed, there would be no way of knowing what I'm actually shooting. Filming inverted is especially great for establishing shots and low angle shots. As you can probably tell, the Crane M gimbal is quite compact, but the original case of the gimbal is not exactly tiny, so when traveling with this setup, we never bring the case because it's simply too big. Another thing to keep in mind when filming in public is that you might get stopped when filming with a huge camera rig, which is less likely to happen with such a small gimbal setup because no one would think that it's meant for professional use. Even though this is our favorite setup, the Lumix LX10 is not perfect in every way and there are also lots of reasons not to choose this camera. For example, it doesn't have a flat picture profile, it has a fixed lens, which means you can't put other lenses on the camera. It also doesn't have an input for an external microphone and there is no way to mount an ND filter. Even though all these points seem to make it unusable for professional work, it's definitely a good choice as a B or C camera and when it comes to capturing shots quickly, this setup is pretty unbeatable. So if time and space is an issue, this setup might be for you, but if you have a lot of time and you like carrying heavy backpacks full of gear, then you're probably better off with the GH5. But don't forget it also takes time to change lenses, which often can result in missing a great shot, so a camera with just one lens is sometimes the only way to go. Even though it's missing a lot of features, the video quality is definitely usable for professional work. We had a couple of commercial shoots where we used the GH4 and the Fuji X-T2 as our main camera and the Panasonic LX10 for gimbal shots and as long as the colors are matched in the edit, the difference is not really visible. Overall it's amazing what small cameras can do these days and if you combine it with a good gimbal, most people couldn't tell the difference between this and a $5000 setup if you would just show them the result. So if your main focus is to capture great visuals quickly, this setup is definitely something worth checking out.